the depth in the dream a laborer in akbar's kingdom was very proud that in spite of his meager income he had never been in debt one night he dreamt that he borrowed money from the money lender when he woke up the next morning he told his wife about his dream he said i had a terrible dream last night somehow the money lender learnt about the laborer's dream he was a wicked man he went to the laborer's house and demanded that he repay the money he had borrowed from him even though it was only in a dream the poor man did not know what to do the money lender said aha you are in trouble the laborer went to birbal and requested him to help him Birbal listened patiently to the man's problem and promised to help him tackle the greedy money lender. He thought of a plan. Birbal summoned the money lender to his house. Birbal said, "We will teach that greedy man a lesson." Birbal kept some gold coins on a table. He placed a mirror in front of the pile of coins. Soon the money lender reached Birbal's house. when he saw the pile of gold his eyes began to twinkle with greed he said gold birbal told the money lender that the gold was the repayment of the money the laborer had borrowed in his dream as soon as he heard this the greedy money lender reached for the coins but birbal stopped him birbal said don't touch those coins Birbal explained to the greedy money lender that since he had lent money to the poor man only in his dream and not in reality he was only entitled to the reflection of the coins in the mirror and not the actual coins on the table the money lender said i have been tricked the wicked money lender knew that birbal had outwitted him he was ashamed of himself and apologized to birbal and the laborer he also promised to give up his greed the money lender left birbal's house as a changed man birbal said greed is a bad thing thanks for watching the poor laborer was relieved that he did not have to pay the money lender he praised birbal's wisdom and thanked him for his invaluable help Birbal was indeed a wise man who helped those in need. The poor laborer said, "You are my savior, sir." Thanks for watching the story.